Hey everyone, hope you're excited for Keyforge like we are. Uh, if you are, there is a link in the description that you can click, uh, which helps us out, so, so why not check that out? Also, we're giving away some copies on Twitter, on the USS Twitter, there'll be a link to that as well in the description. So, if you want a free copy, maybe you'll get one. Thank you for watching, enjoy the video. Hello everybody and welcome back to Games Night. Today we're playing Keyforge. It's the unique deck game by Richard Garfield who created Magic the Gathering. It's yeah. really, really interesting and really, really cool. So it's each, very different. Each deck is completely procedurally generated. And I guess at the printers, they must have some clever algorithm mm. that gives everyone a unique uh, deck every time. We've um, even got like an artificially, like an algorithmically generated name for each deck. Yes, so mine is called A. Clydemore the Port Bully. Oh, who are okay. you? I'm she that artificially constructs the oracle. Wow, that sounds pretty cool. I can't wait to look on the Reddit at the weirdest ones that these people have found. So this is amazing. So this, these decks are unique. Um, yeah. There's, uh, there's a QR code on it. We've done a little tutorial guide. So that was the video before this one. Hopefully, mm -hmm. if you don't know how to play the game, that will be a little guide to there. Uh, but we, me, Ben, Tom and Harry have been given one of each unique deck. Yep. Um, and you we're can't gonna, change what's in it. It is what it is. It's locked, and we are gonna we're gonna battle to see which one or which one of us is the best mm. at Keyforge. Um, so yes, I've got a three color deck. I'm Brobnar, Untamed, and Shadows. Okay, and I am Logos, Sanctum, and Shadows. Okay, so, so Shadows are kind of tricksy and steal resources. Yeah. Sanctum are like the Holy Paladin types. Okay. And Logos are like techno. Wizards. So you're techno, holy, secretive. Yeah. And I'm kind of Brobnar, which is like big creatures, untamed, which is kind of like beast, beastial Wild stuff. Wild and druids and yeah, beasts and, and stuff. Yeah, and then shadows. So I'm sneaky, beasts and druids. Natural and fighting. And you're sneaky, tech and paladin. <laughs> Perfect. I like it. So uh, draw six cards. Right. We, if you haven't watched this draw video, we are going to roughly explain how it works. So we both begin with six cards. We yep. have to flip a coin to start. Okay. So pick... Uh, coloured side. Okay. <laughs> that means you start. Okay. Okay. So sure. So I, uh, I get an extra card if get I go extra first. Card. So the first thing you do in your turn is try to forge a key. You don't have enough resources for that. Uh, the next thing you do is choose a house, and you can only play cards from that house. Yeah. The house I choose is Logos, and I'm going to play the Library of Babel. What is that? It's an artifact. This comes in exhausted, like all artifacts do, and, but on later turns I can use it. Okay. Is that your go? Mm-hmm. So then you ready up. And then you draw up to six, but I already have six. Okay. And then it's your turn. All right, so on my go, mm -hmm. I'm going to pick House Untamed. Okay. And I'm going to play a Mighty Tiger. Ooh. Normally when you play him, he can deal four damage to an enemy creature. There's no creatures to hit. And a Witch of the Eye. Mm. So she, there's two creatures. Um, she, he's got four strengths, she's got three. Mm -hmm. uh, when she reaps, I can return a card from my discard pile to oh, my hand. Oh, that is strong. But there's nothing in there at the moment. They come in exhausted, mm -hmm. uh, so there's nothing they can do this turn. But at the end of my turn, they're all ready up. There we okay. go, and then I draw up to six, and it's your go. Right. Okay, my turn. I'm going to choose um, House Sanctum, which are my Holy Warriors. Um, first thing I'm going to do is play Mighty Lance, which will do three damage to a creature and three damage oh, to a neighbor no. of that creature. So my jet bike, Holy Lance, stabs her, wounds the tiger. Then I'm going to play a Hallowed Blaster. Comes in exhausted. This can later be used to... As an action, heal three damage. So because he's picked a different house to his Logos, you can't use your Library of Babel in this turn. That's right, because this belongs to a different house, so that's yeah. not going to do anything this turn. Uh, then I'm going to play Lady Maxina. She has, uh, when she comes into play, she stuns a creature. So she jumps in with a big hammer, stuns okay. your tiger. So I get the stun on this creature. Mm -hmm. I should have taken up the story. I've taken oh, one. yeah, he should have so taken three got, damage. He's only got one life left. One life left, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to play the Virtuous Works, which has no card text, but it generates three ember. Nice. So that oh. gets me halfway to a key. That is really strong. That's a really strong card. I like that one a lot. All right, unexhaust, ready. I'll draw four cards. Two, three, four. It's your turn. Okay, I'm going to play Brobnar because I've got mm -hmm. four Brobnar cards. Oh, wow. And so I feel like I need to use them. Yeah. Uh, the way this game works is if you have a lot of the same suit, it doesn't mean you can play all of them. Yeah. Um, obviously, this character, the Mighty Tiger, he's stunned, so I would need to be house untamed if I wanted to have an action with him and remove the stun from him. Uh, but I feel like since he's stunned, it's not really so important. But a lot of these cards don't really do anything. I just want to get them out of my hand. So mm. loot the bodies. Yeah. For the remainder of this turn, gain one each time an enemy creature is destroyed. Now Lady Maxina is five strength and two, two armor. armor. It's going to be hard work to kill her. I have a cannon as an artifact, which has an action. I can, I can trigger it to do two damage to a creature. I can't do it 
Can't do it this turn because it comes into play exhausted. Mm -hmm. Then I've got Tremor, stun a creature in each of its neighbors, so I'm going to stun Ooh, her. Ooh, ouch. And then I've also got uh, War Song. For the remainder of the turn, gain one Ember each time a friendly creature fights, which I can't do. Oh, either. okay. So two of those actions had no effect, but it cycles your hand and lets you draw new cards. I just wanted to get everything out of my hand, really, yeah, yeah and draw a whole bunch of new stuff. I think that's important in this game, not to hold on to cards you can't use, because they might just sit there for like three or four turns doing yeah. nothing. So everything ready at the end of my turn, yep. and I draw back up. Let's hope I draw some of the uh, same suit. Okay, I'm going to play Sanctum again. Mm hmm. I'm going to take an action with Lady Maxina to clear the stun. Oh my gosh. I'm going to bring in Sequis. Sequis? Mm-hmm. He comes in exhausted. His ability is when he reaps, he captures one of your ember. Right. I don't have any ember. No. But I worry about that. He's, he's a big guy, though. Four power, two armor. And then lastly, I've got um, Inspiration. I can ready and use a friendly creature. Oh. So I'm going to ready Lady Maxina up, and then I'm going to exhaust her to reap. So every creature can take the action reap, mm -hmm. and when you do it, you exhaust, and you generate one ember. Wow, you're up to four ember. That's pretty scary. So on my turn, I'm going to be Brobnar again, and I'm going to okay. play, because I've got drawn three Brobnar cards. <laughs> right. So I feel like I might as well get these out. Just keep using them, Because um, yeah. also I could use the cannon. However, firing right. the cannon, actually, at any of your creatures will just bounce off their armor. You, yeah, although armor is... Is temporary. So armor re re recharged at the end of every turn, effectively, yes. sort of, it's like a damage shield. So that cannon would knock the armor off, and then they would be vulnerable to the next attack. Yeah. Turn. We will just shoot the cannon at, um, at Sequis, just because we can. Mm -hmm. Sure. Just, Donk. just, Donk. just Donk. It's not going to do anything. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. So the war chest comes in exhausted. Mm -hmm. It's another Brobnar artifact. Um, normally, I can act with it to uh, get an ember for each enemy unit that was killed that turn. Oh, okay. So, so if I can get a bit of a fight going, I can generate a lot of ember. Right. And I have got a creature to fight with, uh, although he does come in exhausted. Uh, Crump. Mm -hmm. So he's a six damage creature. Mm -hmm. uh, if he destroys any creatures in combat, you lose some ember. Right. And then finally, I can play Follow the Leader. For the remainder of the turn, each enemy, each friendly creature may fight. Right. Of course. Crump is exhausted, yeah. and the Mighty Tiger is stunned, but I think I can take an action with him and clear off the stun. Yeah, you can use Follow the Leader to let him attack when he wouldn't, because he wouldn't normally be able to because he's from a different house. Follow the Leader lets him act, but then the stun means when he tries to fight, he just loses the stun instead of yeah. fighting. So I've cleaned off the, the stun on my Mighty mm -hmm. Tiger. I've cleaned out my hand. Um, I feel like I'm okay. I'm yeah. going to draw three more cards, Okay. back up to six, and, you got and some... then pass the turn to Ben. You can, you can ready up. I can ready up, of course, sorry, yep, yeah, I'll do um, that. Yeah, you've got, got a good board presence now. Okay, I'm going to play Logos this turn. Mm -hmm. so first thing I do is use my Library of Babel to draw a card. Then I'll play the three creatures I've got from Logos. I've got a Brain Eater, who's six power, and if he destroys something in a fight, I draw a card. Wow. I've got uh, Quixo the Adventurer, who after uh, fighting and surviving, draws a card. Okay. Um, and he also skirmish, so when he's the attacker, he takes no damage in return. Right. Which is pretty strong. And then lastly, I've got a bat drone. Two, right. Two power, also got skirmish, and if it survives a fight, it steals an ember from you. Right. Oh my gosh. And then I can't activate any of my Sanctum cards, so that's the end of my turn. Okay. <laughs> For the third go in a row, I'm going to be Brobnar. <laughs> right. I'm going to fire the cannon yeah. and blow away that bat drone that bat straight away. getting exploded. So you don't steal. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is actually activate my war chest, so firing my cannon gives me an ember. Oh, no, uh, the war chest only when um, they're killed by fighting. Oh, damn it. The cannon doesn't, doesn't trigger. No, you can't loot the bodies because you snipe them from a distance. Oh, and then uh, I'll, I'll obviously attack, I think, with Crump. Yeah. Um, and I think I'll take out your... Well, I can trade with the Brain Eater, but I mm. think that will just give you a card, which I don't want. I'm a bit worried about Quixo, because he's got Skirmish, so he's, he's always going to be winning his fights, because he won't take any damage. So I'm going to kill yeah. Kill Quixo, him before he can start skirmishing with and you. And that will do three damage back to me yes. uh, on Crump. And then I will lose dead. an Ember, because Crump killed him. That's right. That's and then you will gain an Ember from the War Chest. I will. So I, you lose one. I gain one, mm -hmm. so he gets um, gets exhausted, and then I'm going to play another Crump down, exhausted, Ooh. a tired Crump, and then I'm going to make the make a, a, do anger on right. the damaged Crump, wake him up, <laughs> right. and fight him, fight again. Oh wow! Ready and fight with a friendly creature, and he's going to fight your brain eater, I think, and nice. knock it down. That's a good play. So we kill each other. Yep. I lose another ember from Crump. You yep. gain another ember from the war chest. Yep. And then I draw a card. That's right. Oof. So that puts you on seven cards. 
But um, I've just gone from like I've lost four all my amber. amber down to two. Oh, yeah, man. and um, I've got a mighty tiger and a, another crump to take the crump's place. <laughs> all right, just wave for salt. Crump really got crumps. angry. I like that. Crump smash. All right, uh, so I ready up everything at the end of my turn. I draw two more cards and then mm -hmm. I pass to you, Ben. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go with Sanctum. I'm going to play a second Lady Maxina. Oh no. He's going to bop Crump stunned with a hammer. Crump, no, another stunned boy on my side. Bash. And then I'm going to play Take Hostages. Mm -hmm. So I gain an ember for that. And for the remainder of the turn, each time a friendly creature fights, it captures an ember from your enemy. Okay. So uh, this Lady Maxine is going to go and fight your tiger, okay. um, which will kill the tiger. Two damage goes into my armor and two damage goes onto my health. Because of take hostages, I'm taking this hostage, which means when Lady Maxina dies, you'll get that back. Okay. But for now, it's mine. <laughs> I can't spend it, but it's just she's holding on to it for me. And then Sequus is going to reap, which generates me an ember for reaping. But also his ability is when he reaps, he captures. And that's my other ember. Your other ember. Okay. All my ember is gone. All your ember belong to us. And then I'll use my Hallowed Blaster to heal three damage from a friendly creature. Damn it. Damn it. That's a really, that's a really good use of your Hallowed Blaster. Oh, were you, was I in lethal range? Were you going to sniper? Yeah, I was. All right, I'm going to play Shadows for the first time. I've got oh, a few yeah. Shadows cards. I've got a Dodger. He's an elf thief. Oh, nice. Uh, when he fights and stays alive, uh, he gets to steal one. I'm going to play a special delivery. It's an artifact mm -hmm. uh, that I can use on any turn to sacrifice and deal three damage to a flanking creature. Okay. Now that's interesting. That's an omni action. So you, you can use that even if you're using a different house to shadows. Right? Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, I will play a shadow self. It is a creature, a nine health creature, uh, that doesn't do any damage when fighting. Okay. Um, however, damage dealt to non-spectre creatures is dealt to this creature instead. Right. So any other creatures that take damage, they go on here instead. So any creatures or adjacent creatures? Non, sorry, oh. non-spectre neighbors. Right, neighbors. Okay. And so it will, it's like a shield. Yeah. It's kind it's of, a, rather than it's a like a sponge minion, it's kind of a sponge creature yeah, that damage will suck damage sponge. off nearby creatures. So it'll keep cool. the keep Dodger, Dodger alive. alive for a long time. And then I will also play my final action, um, finishing blow, destroy a damaged creature. Oh, so I would have lost Lady Maxina to that. But I feel like with that heal out and all of your creatures being the armored. creatures that can be healed and armored, it looks like I've not really got much You're of a chance, get a chance to, to play do that, that yet. So, so I'm just going to take the free ember, discard it mm. and draw some cards. It's a good call. I think I'm going to take the risky move here. I have no Sanctum cards in my hand, but I've got enough stuff Sanctum out there. I'm going to pick Sanctum again, just not use my hand, and I'm going to reap with Sequis. Okay. Which generates me an ember and steals another one of yours. I'm going to reap with Lady Maxina, um, which generates me an ember. And then I'm going to play Lady Maxina's special action. As an action, she can return to my hand. Okay. She can jump back in my hand, and then I will play her. Comes in exhausted, but when she's played, she stuns a creature. Oh and I'll my stun Dodger. Gosh. She okay. does a massive hammer jump. This is spooky. Boom. And I have to say now, check. Which means I have enough ember here to forge a key. Okay. So I have to make you aware of that so I don't sneak one in next turn. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, your turn. Okay, I'm going to play Untamed. I'm going to play a Hunting Witch oh, first of okay, all. Yeah. So I can play to either flank, by the yes. way. If we haven't talked about this, you can only play cards on the flanks. So I'm going to play her on the left flank. Each time you play another creature, you gain an ember. You sure you don't want to put her next to the damage sponge? Well, wait for me. <laughs> oh, okay, you've got an even better creature. My next action is Lost in the Woods. I'm going to choose two friendly creatures and two enemy creatures, shuffle them into our decks. Oh, nice. So I'm going to shuffle away both of your Lady Maxinas, okay, and I'm up. going to shuffle away my Crump and my Dodger, because they're both right, right, clears their stuns, stunned. Which is good. And then um, you get this ember back. I get the way I steal my ember back. And both Lady Maxina's back in the deck. We'll have to shuffle these decks up. And then you are next to the damage sponge. And then I am next to the sponge. So that sponge will protect my hunting witch. Because the hunting witch is amazing. Yeah, she's really good. So I, I think can get what, a lot of creatures. Yeah, she, so she has a passive ability. You don't have to activate her to do it. Each time you play another creature, you gain an ember. Yeah. And I can play a creature right now, a Jew Fairy. Ooh. So it's elusive. Mm -hmm. The first time it's attacked each turn, no damage is dealt. And that generates me an ember. And then my final action, Vigor, heal mm -hmm. a creature for three. If you healed one, three damage, then you gain an extra ember. But I just get one ember for playing that and getting it out of my hand. 
Right. Okay, and then, Ben, it's up to you. Oh, I'm not in such a strong position now. Can't kill either of your peeps. Well, before I do anything, I must forge a key. Yes, so if you have enough to forge a key, you have to forge a yeah. key. So I spend my six, and key forge, bam! Good. One third of the way to victory. Next up, I'm going to play Logos, and I will play all my Logos cards, which will be another quick of the Adventurer. Okay. A Wild Wormhole. Nice. nice. Number. Wild Wormhole plays a random, plays the top card of my deck, even if it's not from the same house. Oh, it's another Lady Maxine. Oh, well, she shuffled back in, so... Yeah. The two of them shuffled in, I suppose. So it wasn't like too unlikely she was going to turn up. She's going to stun the Dew Fairy. Yeah, sorry, he, he reaped two Ember a turn, so I don't want that to happen. I'm going to play this guy, the Valen Analyst. Okay. Every time I use an artifact, I gain an Ember. Okay. And that's, Maybe that's you should have played him before you used I should have played him. I think I drew him uh, from the, from the, the library, battle. which is okay. why I couldn't do it. Oh, and I will also chuck the Bouncing Death Quark. Okay. Because that would have been a board wipe. I didn't really want to wipe my own board. Okay. So. All right, I'm playing Shadows. I'm going to smash down a whole bunch of creatures. I'm going to play Bad Penny. Mm -hmm. When she's destroyed, she comes out to my hand. I'm going to play a, a Dodger. I'm going to play a Noddy the Thief. And I'm going to play a Silvertooth. So all of these guys enter exhausted, um, but the Silvertooth enters play Breddy. So I get four Ember for the four oh, creatures God, I've spawned. Oh, you do, because I didn't kill the Hunting Witch. And I get... I can potentially either attack or reap with the Silvertooth. I think I'm going to attack and trade with your Valen Analyst yeah. to make sure you can't get extra Ember off of your artifacts. And I think my Shadow Self will reap as well. And then, that's the end of my turn, putting me on nine Ember. Ooh. So there you go, that was a good turn for me. Oh my god, I need to get rid of that Hunting Witch. ASAP. So then everything untaps, and mm -hmm. I draw back up to six. Okay, I'm going to play Shadows. First of all, I'll play Bait and Switch. If your opponent has more Ember than you, steal one. Repeat this until, <gasps> until you can no longer repeat it. Oh no! So, I'll have one. You've still got more than me. <laughs> I'll have another one. You've still got more than me. I'll have another one. You've still got more than me. I'll have another one. Boom. Share the wealth. Five all. Five oh, all. now I've got enough to forge a key. <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> that was perfect timing, that card. That's a disaster. Oh, big swings. Big swings. Um, I'll also put into play Long Fused Mines. This is an Omni action. Can do it when I activate any house. Um, I can sacrifice these mines to deal three damage to every creature not on a flank. Oh my god, that's so, like that's all like of everyone these in creatures. the middle. Take three damage. But I can't do it yet. He gets an ember. Oh yeah, I get an ember for that, so check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> god. Then I'll play Nerve Blast. I don't know why I play you at these games. <laughs> you thought ridiculous. you'd won, didn't you? You thought you'd won! I was like... I, I don't know why I thought I was ahead. Nerve Blast, what does that do? Um, steal. Steal one! Yep. Sure! <laughs> and if I do, um, deal two damage to a creature. Because if I hit... Either of these, I just hit the Shadow Self. That's right, yeah. It's protecting the Hunting yeah. Witch and the Dew Fairy. And I don't want to hit Nobby the Thief because the Landmines will get them next turn. So um, I think I'll just hit the Shadow Self for two. Okay. Start, start chipping away at it. You got it. And then lastly, I'll play Nexus Cyborg Thief. It's elusive, so you'll have to attack it twice to kill it. Um, and when, he, when it reaps, I can use your artifacts as if they were my own. You got it. And that's my turn done. Right, I am playing Untamed again. Um, I'm going to get two creatures down. I'm going to play a Murmook, which makes your keys cost one more when you forge them, but you've oh. still got enough, actually, <laughs> which is ridiculous because of that steel. <laughs> you also get one from your Hunting Witch for that. Yeah, I get one down. Ember for that. And then I'm also going to play a Witch of the Eye. When I reap with her, mm -hmm. she can return a card from my discard pile to my hand, which nice. is pretty useful. I'll get another Ember for that, which is check. Mm -hmm. uh, I will then play Lost in the Woods to shuffle oh. away two of my creatures and two of your creatures. Mm. I think I'll shuffle away my um, my Bad Penny mm. and my Nobby the Thief, because why not? And I'll shuffle away your Makesner and Quixo, yeah. which is kind of making it difficult for you to choose which house you want. So rather than necessarily your best creatures, I think I just want to make it so you can only use one of them. Yeah, that makes sense. Which is sense. quite an interesting like part of this game. I really like it. Yeah, like managing which house you control is, is a really tough choice every turn. Yeah. 
And also, it's not. It's interesting how, you know, I like my, Lady Maxine is really, 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 really strong. Mm. And but I'm sh- shuffling her away. But then I'll use the Dew Fairy, of course, to, to get rid of the stun. Yeah. And then uh, everyone untaps, and then it's the end of the turn. Sorry, I'm just going to stop talking and let you right. let you play, Ben. Whew. You'll go. Big turn. Okay, so first things first, pay seven. Key forged. It's the second key, yeah. It's quite a big, it's already two nil up on keys. Yeah, although you've got enough to get one this turn. Yeah. So it'll be two one. And I've got a much stronger board. You've got a way stronger board for now. Ma ha 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 ha. Because you know what I'm going to do right now? Please no. I'm going to choose Shadow. I'm going to trigger my long fused mines. And it's going to kill everything that's. It's going to do three damage to everything not on a flank. So three to the Hunting Witch, goes on the Shadow Self. Three onto the Shadow Self. Three onto the Jew Fairy, goes onto the Shadow Self. Yeah. Uh, which kills it. Boom. And then three onto the. Mermook, which kills which it. Kills it. That's it. What is the order in which this, the damage is supposed to go on? I think I like the idea of it all at once. Yeah. Um, I think that feels right. To it's me. simultaneous. It's one big explosion. I'm not sure that we might have done that slightly wrong. I'm not sure the what shadow the order self is. got overkilled. But yeah. But don't worry because we've got another thing coming. Then I'm going to play Poison Wave. <laughs> it's an ember and deal two damage to every creature on the board. You're kidding me! Including my own. This guy's armor proof, so he's fine. He loves it. But my Nexus takes two. So the Jew Fairy's dead. The Hunting Witch is dead. The Witch of the Eye is on one hit point, mm-hmm. and Dodger is on, on um, three hit points. Jesus, look at that, that was horrible. That was big. The big plays. The biggest of plays. Right, then I'm going to use Nexus to reap. Okay. So that'll generate me an ember. And her ability is, I can use one of your artifacts as if it were my own. No way! So I'm going to use your special delivery. You can sacrifice and it. And sacrifice it. To deal three damage to a flank creature. Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> and so you're going to sacrifice my dodger. Oh, dodger. Oh, I should have paid more attention to my own stuff. Whoopsie. Oh, there's nothing, the only thing better than using an opponent's artifact is also destroying it in the process. <laughs> oh, that's so powerful. <laughs> so powerful. Killing my own creature with my own artifact <laughs> and destroying my artifact. Oh! All right. I love it. Uh, then I'll play Ghostly Hand. Generates two ember. And if you have exactly one ember, I can steal it. But you okay. don't, so I don't get to do that part. That's a relief. And then lastly, I'll drop in Umbra, which is a skirmishing two health thing that can steal. You got it. And that's me done. Whew. Man, what a turn. That is a powerful turn. Oh no. All right, well, what are we gonna do? So your Nexus is elusive, which means it's quite hard to actually kill. It's quite a defensive thing. Yeah, although um, elusive only works against um, Combat damage. Yeah. First time it's an attack, it takes no damage. So if you have something like your cannon or damage from hand, that will just blow it away straight away. I see. So first of all, Mm -hmm. I get to forge a key, Ben. Nice. So that's one key. I'm going to choose the blue one. She unforged that one, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, we just stopped fighting. We could do it together. We could work together. We could work together and like save the universe or whatever it is we're trying to do. Exactly. We shouldn't be fighting. And then I've got to choose Brobnar because really I've got four cards to play. Mm -hmm. Um, So the first thing I'm going to do is destroy... All undamaged creatures. Oh, wow. However, this does give me three chains. So I need to go to three chains. Now, chains mean that I have less cards. I dropped less cards in my hand. Yeah. At the moment, I'm at um, minus, one, minus card. one card. So you're going to be on a five card hand for a few turns. However, that's going to get rid of but two Still, of that creatures. kills two of my guys. You get two of your ember back that I was holding hostage. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. That was mm-hmm. good. I'll play a crump because mm-hmm. I can now. He won't die to my coward's end. I will punch you for three with a punch. Oh. Um, so that will kill your Clam. nexus off, and that will give me an ember. And then my last action, I can ready and fight with a friendly creature. Unfortunately, I can't do that. There's no one to fight. There's no one to fight. So Crump ready himself. He's like, I'm angry. <laughs> Crump angry. This has <laughs> happened before. I'm sure I've angered Crump before <laughs> in this game. Um, and I've got, thing. I can fire the cannon at nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I can f- do the war chest for no reason, because no one was dying in fights this turn. <laughs> Um, but there we go. That is my turn. I got oh, three. I got some ember back. And you and, wiped my board. Um, I wiped your board, and I will draw back up. So there you go, Ben. Your go. And I'm going to bring back everyone's favourite. Boom! Lady Maxina. She's back once again. I've <laughs> shuffled her into your library twice now. <laughs> three who, times. Who do you want to stun? With uh, Crump, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she Crump has been hammered by Lady Maxina far too many <laughs> Just times. All in this game. game. Um, I will also. 
play um, Protectrix. Okay. He's a five strength creature. Uh, when he reaps, um, you may fully heal a creature, and if you do, that creature cannot be dealt damage for the rest of the turn. Oh, right. Okay. That's quite nice. And then lastly, I'll play Radiant Truth, which actually doesn't do anything because it um, stuns all the creatures that aren't on flanks. Right. Uh, but it does generate an ember. Cool. Boop. All right. I am going to play Shadows. Mm-hmm. First of all, I've got a master plan. Oh. So I can, when I play my master plan, I can put a card face down beneath it, and then any time I, I want on future goes, because uh, it's an omni ability, I can play that card underneath. Ah, uh, no matter what house you pick. So it's so a can... way to get out a card. And you can so... combo two different houses together in the same turn with that. Yeah, we're going to see what we can do with that. That might, nice. be, that might be a really impactful card. This is one of my rares. Ah. So in, in, the, in the deck you've got some rares. I think mm-hmm. I've got like three on my list. Yeah, most decks have three rares. Uh, so it? the Mighty Tiger that I played on the first turn, he was one of my, one of my rares. So mm. his ability I think is quite effective. Like when he comes down he can do four damage, which is... Yeah, pretty big deal. You can just snipe a creature. Um, so also in Shadows, I've got another bad penny. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think she was the one I shuffled away, and the other one I shuffled away was the Naughty the Thief. He's come back. Oh, okay, <laughs> he's come back. Uh, so two creatures. She's uh, Naughty's elusive. Mm. Uh, he can steal money from you, which might help you. Yeah, might help me keep I you alive. And then lastly, I'll, I'll nerve blast. So oh. I'll play. I'll steal one of your Ember. No. And when I do, it deals two damage to a creature. So I'll put two damage on the yeah, Protectrix. Sure. And you get this guy for the master plan. There we go. That's that's actually like okay. We're actually I'm pretty close quite, now. Not quite far as far behind as I could be. Your um, go. Yeah. Um, I mean, your master plan worries me, but not as much as Lady Maxina worries you. Boom! In with another hammer slam. Too many. Too many to deal with. <laughs> it's just too many Maxinas. Sort of double double stun. <laughs> Crump. Uh, Crump's had enough hammers today. Mm. I think Nobby the thief. I don't want him stealing my ember, I'm about to win. Yeah, oh, that's annoying. There's only a few ways I can hold you back. Okay. And then I'm, I'm just going to double reap to go up to seven. So you're going to have to steal two or something in your turn to stop me. Try another card. This is like match point. Well, don't worry, what? Ben. I've got a master plan. What is your master plan? <laughs> it is a crab! <laughs> a mermook. So your master plan was a crab in a box. I'm afraid I didn't have actually a solution to this. Uh, seven, seven ember. Key forged. Well done, Ben. You did it. Boom. I'm proud of you. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. <laughs> this is key forged. I really like it. It's good fun. Um, I really like, I think my deck's okay. Uh, I think yours is okay. I think it was fairly close in the mid game. Yeah. Um, I feel like a couple well, of my cards I drew of my, I think the getting my Maxinas back out so quickly after getting them shuffled back into my deck. Well, they weren't a great card to shuffle away because they have such a powerful play effect. Yeah, so bringing them back out is actually a good thing. But actually, they're seven health, really, with that armor. Mm. They're very hard to get rid of. And because you kept stunning my crumps, I couldn't really even fight back. Yeah, because your war chest never really got to trigger because you were always stunned. I never triggered that war chest at all. Yeah, interesting. Anyway. Thanks for watching it for one. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there'll be some more Keyforge videos and see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.